EMT Trauma Assessment, take one. Hello, my name is Dominic Gonzalez. We'll be performing a uh, trauma assessment on the patient. First thing we want to start off with is uh, on the head. We check for weak head to left stick, which stands for um, deformities, uh, deformities, contusions, abrasions, avulsions, punctures, penetrations, uh, burns, tenderness, lacerations, swelling, uh, and then helping for tenderness and stability and temperature. And once you're done with that, you want to check for uh, asymmetry of the face and head. You're going to check for uh, major gastric tube, um, drainage from the uh, nose and ears. You're going to check for uh, topodynamesis around the mouth and in the mouth. You're going to look for soot and thin nasal and facial hair. You're going to look for uh, rectum eyes and bone cut. Next, you're going to move on to the neck. You're going to do the same thing, check for the DKP to stick. You're also going to check for uh, chest tattoos, track marks, medical alert tags, uh, jugular vein distension, tracheal deviation, uh, accessory muscle use. Uh, you're going to check for other pulses. You're also going to look for uh, a stoma, so you can get anesthesia anywhere around the neck. Uh, uh, central venous catheter and and a tracheotomy. Then you're going to move on to the chest. You're also going to look for detailed detail of stick. And you're also going to add, uh, you're going to check with the sternum. And you're also going to check the clavicles. You're also going to look for, um, oh, you're going to check the lid. You start on the lid bottom and you make your way up. You're also going to look for, uh, for paradoxical movement of the chest around here. You're going to look for uh, accessory muscle use, any uh, second chest wound, the retainer of the um, uh, pacemaker, uh, internal cardiac defibrillator, uh, what else? <laughs> oh, any central <laughs> catheters and uh, chest tubes. And then you're going to move on to the abdomen. You're going to check each of your detail of stick. You're going to help it with the four quadrants. Along with that, you're also going to look for, um, and you're going to look for Dr. GM, which stands for distension, rigidity, any guarding that the patient does, uh, masses and pulsating masses. You're also going to look for subutaneous so emphysema. If it's a female, you're going to look for uh, pregnancy signs and uh, complications. And you're also going to look for uh, gastrostomy tubes, colostomies, or any uh, medication pumps. And then you're going to move down to the pelvis. So you're also going to look for a detailed detail of stick. You're also going to uh, put it down on the patient's pelvis. And if it's, no, you're going to push in on the patient's pelvis. And if he doesn't feel any pain or doesn't try to stop or anything, then you're going to push it down. You're also going to look for, um, so you're going to check for some more pulses. You're going to, Look for prizism and nails, you know, for incontinence, and you look for uh, pregnancy signs and conditions or vaginal bleeding to chemo. You can move on to the leg, you're going to check them, the top of them, you're also going to look for deep tendons to look sick. Along with that, you're going to look for any tattoos, tattoos track marks, uh, medical lid tags, IV catheters. You're also going to check CMS, check the fetal pulses, laterally. Then you're also going to uh, look for motor for the MS. Can you put down a right hamster? Can you pull up? Can you pull there? What's going on like this? Big so. Can you do the same again? Pull up a line. Can you put it down? Pull there. What's going on like this? Big so. After that, you're going to move to the arm. You're going to look for track marks, tattoos, uh, IV catheters, uh, atrial venous, strength of fistula. Uh, fistula is my guy. Uh, you're also going to look for, uh, you're going to check the brachial pulses. And you're going to check CMS. Can you squeeze on your fingers here? And you're going to check, uh, radial pulse. Can you close your eyes? What's the end of my question? Mm -hmm. And you're going to do the same thing on the left side. Can you squeeze on your fingers here? And can you look away? What's the end of my question? Mm -hmm. And then check radial pulse. Then you're going to move to the back. 
Again, we're going to look for the tabula check in there, and then check the spine, make sure it's aligned properly and no vertebrae stick out. We're going to look for any tattoos, uh, tank, emphysema, and tape rubbing. And that concludes the channel assessment presentation.